operating expenses to reduce its operating expenses by 1.5 billion by 1.5 billion while taking in while taking in 24.6 billion 24.6 billion in profits in profits since the bailout since the bailout that's not right 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 wells fargo's Wells Fargo CEO CEO makes more than makes more than 17 million dollars 17 million dollars while the average well the average Wells Fargo teller Wells Fargo teller makes 22,000 a year makes 22,000 a year Did you hear that 22,000 That's 10 to 11 dollars that's $10 to $11 an hour. An hour. That's not right. 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 You can help change things. You can help change things. Join us. Join us. Move your money. Move your money. Out of the predatory big banks. Out of the predatory big banks. You can learn more. You can learn more. There's lots of information on the internet. There's lots of information on the internet. There's Move Your Money Mondays. There's Move Your Money Mondays. And pleaseclosemyaccount.com. There's pleaseclosemyaccount.com. There's Move Your Money Project. There's Move Your Money Project. At moveyourmoneyproject.org. At moveyourmoneyproject.org. And you can find a local credit union. And you can find a local credit union. Check out a smarterchoice.org. Check out a smarterchoice.org. Their accountability. Their accountability has become our responsibility. Has become our responsibility. Their accountability is 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 our responsibility. Police need a race. Police see the race. Police see the race. Police see the race. I would like to soapbox. Mic check. Mic check. I don't need your yells back unless you would like to. I'm going to read a statement. I need help holding this sign. I can do that. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> Wells Fargo has financial holdings in the Corrections Corporation of America and the GEO Group, two of the largest private prison companies in the United States. Corrections Corporation of America is the largest in the United States. 400 shares in CCA and 550,000 shares in GEO Group are held by Wells Fargo. Both of these private prison companies run private detention centers which operate immigrant prison and detention centers for the U.S. government. And that's not right! That's, that's not right. right! As a member of ALEC, the American Legislative Exchange Council, Wells Fargo continues to push for anti-immigrant legislation like that which passed in Arizona and is being introduced in states throughout the country. As a member of Occupy Grinnell, I find it particularly distasteful to say the least. I don't think it's right. That's not right. That's, That's not right. right. In March of 2011, the state of Iowa joined nine states in defeating laws similar to Arizona's dangerous anti-immigrant bill SB 1070 that was passed in 2011. Since the bill was passed, the track record of its implementation has been harsh, abusive, and unfortunate. Rather than keeping us safer from terrorism, the bill has unfairly targeted children, schools, hardworking, law-abiding immigrants, and hospital patients as a way to enforce wide-sweeping safety net strategies that have not proven successful in their goal to keep us safe from terrorism. That's not right! That's not right! The Iowa bill, though defeated, would have given police power to enforce immigration laws, 
in every Iowa County allow any public employee to share information with ICE, the Immigration of Customs Enforcement, and prohibit sanctuary cities. I find that particularly not right. Not right. Many cities throughout Iowa have adopted sanctuary city strategies as a resistance against punitive state laws around the country and to recognize, as this country has always known, that we benefit from immigrant labor, that we are a melting pot country, and that we have room for people who come here that want to work. We don't have room for 400 people on Wall Street that want to crash our economy. That was off the soapbox, but I'm back on the soapbox. <laughs> this year, a private divestment campaign persists against Wells Fargo in states across the country. We are joining those states across the country. As a member of Occupy Grinnell and lifelong Grinnell resident, I am appalled that Wells Fargo continues to invest in and profit from the private prison industrial complex and continues to support laws in states that would model Arizona's unfortunate past legislation. It is particularly appalling that Wells Fargo stands to profit in the way of billions of dollars in new immigrant banking dollars, yet at the same time supports wide-sweeping efforts to potentially criminalize hardworking, honest, law-abiding immigrant families. During the Tom Vilsack years, Iowa had an open-door immigrant policy, and our state has and continues to become more diverse to benefit from the labor and civic and cultural contributions of law-abiding immigrants in our state. Recent laws have attempted to bar cities that disagree with this anti-immigrant backlash from establishing sanctuary cities and safe havens that refuse to criminalize our hardworking immigrant neighbors, brothers, and sisters just because they are in the process of seeking legal American citizenship while our federal immigration system remains broken, stalling the process of naturalization for millions of immigrants trying to become U.S. citizens. As a member of Occupy Grinnell, this soapbox is to call on Wells Fargo to cease its financial holdings in the for-profit prison industrial complex, admit its, uh, its wrongdoings, and acknowledge the strong and positive role that immigrants have paid in our state. That would be the right thing to do. Thank you. Yeah. Ah! Anyone else like the soapbox? I am here today. I am here today. You want a soapbox? Sure. Let's or, mic check. Mic check. I am here today. I am here today. In support of people. In, in support, support of, of the people. people that moved their money from corporate banks in November. That moved, moved their, their money, money from, from corporate, corporate banks, banks in November. November. Six hundred and fifty thousand Americans. Six hundred and fifty thousand Americans moved their money from corporate banks. Moved their money from corporate banks to local credit unions and privately owned banks. To local unions and privately owned banks. Since that time, since that, that time, in the last three months, in the last three months, 5.6 Americans, 5.6 Americans have chosen to do the same thing. Have chosen to do the same thing. How many Americans? 5.6 million. 5.6 million. million. Thank you. We understand. We understand that my Iowans money. That Iowa's money, money should stay in Iowa. Should stay in Iowa. Here, here. This is something that North Dakota. This, this is something that North Dakota, Dakota has understood since 1919. Since 1919. The state of North Dakota. The state of North Dakota has operated the Bank of North Dakota. Has operated the Bank of North Dakota since that time. Since that time. It sends dividends to its citizens. It sends dividends to its citizens. It is about the same size and population as the state of Vermont. It is about the same size and population as the state of Vermont. In the state of Vermont, 65% of the banks are owned by out-of-state corporations. In Vermont, 65% of the banks are owned by out-of-state corporations. In North Dakota, 24% of the banks are owned by out-of-state corporations. 
In North Dakota, 24% of the banks are owned by out-of-state corporations. North Dakota weathered the financial crisis. North Dakota weathered the financial crisis. With minimal impact on its citizens. With minimal impact on its citizens. At this time, at this time, there are 17 states. There are 17 states that have proposed legislation. That have proposed legislation to follow North Dakota. To follow North Dakota in establishing a state bank for its citizens. In establishing a state bank for its citizens. I think that's the right thing to do. I think that's the right thing to do. Thank you. Woo! We have solutions. 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 We are unstoppable. We are unstoppable. Because another world is possible. Another world is possible. We are unstoppable. We are unstoppable. Another world is possible. Another world is possible. We got sold out. We got sold out. Out of the banks! How's it feel to be free? <laughs> much better, much yeah. better once I get it in a local bank. Or oh, they can invest in the community and its people. Yeah. Locked out! We were locked, locked out. out! Banks got bailed out! We, we got, got locked, locked out! out. <laughs> banks got, got bailed out! out. We, we got, got locked out! out. Banks got, got bailed out! We got locked out! Banks got bailed out! We got locked out! Would you both give us a report to our group about what you did inside and how things went? Yeah, I went in to get my money out. Well, I closed one account to get the money over to a, a local community credit union that I already have open. And my direct deposit goes to the credit union. Um, I was surprised to have the door locked because the door through when we came through that door through the chamber that was called chamber of commerce it shouldn't have been locked. But somebody got a call yesterday. My friend said that helped me take my money out, and said, so I said, "What do you mean a call? Just a call that there would be protesters and there wouldn't be any protesters allowed." So good thing I had my card with me that shows I have an account here. Yeah. <laughs> they were waiting. So, so we shut down the bank effectively for as long yes. as we were in yes. there. Shut down the bank! Shut down big and banks! And I made it very clear the people, the people treated me respectfully and I tried to understand why we were locked out. Uh, you were locked out. And um, understanding that they had a call yesterday, I said from the police, oh, well, we don't know. But um, I, let them, I let them know from our rap sheet the same things we said, that we love the people working here. We, the 99% love the people working here, you're our friends and neighbors. We do not love the policies of the uh, big banks, and Wells Fargo is one of them. So. Yeah. I need you all my money to be put in a local bank. Woo! Woo! And what do you guys think are good local banks to put your money in? Credit union. Well, there's two credit unions in town that I know of. I chose community first because my son's girlfriend works there. <laughs> 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 I think they, uh, you know, I know I don't want to tell people where to put their money, but local banks and and, um, and community credit unions. Why? Because they reinvest their money back in communities and not horrendous things that Wells Fargo does. Did you guys do a mic check or? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh the one thing I wanted also report that one of the guys that came in and had trouble getting through the door because it was and what? wondered what was going on out here. He yeah. says he stood beside me. And he, the lady tried to tell me I couldn't talk to people. I had to just stand there and shut up. <laughs> but he said they're kind of mean. I know why you're protesting them. They're mean. <laughs> right on. So. Yeah. Here are concerns. Here are concerns. Here are concerns! Here are concerns! We'll be back! 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 We're peaceful! We're aware! Occupy is everywhere! We're peaceful! We're aware!